Welcome everyone, thanks for joining me. Today I'm gonna share with you another little watercolor sketchbook that I have. This one is from November and December 2018. And uh, the beginning of it started in Mammoth Lakes, California, a little weekend trip that I took. So let's get into it. All right, so the first painting sketch we have here is some aspen trees starting to turn yellow. I was so excited to do these finally, finally paint some autumn leaves and uh, I think it came out okay. You know, this, this sketchbook is a little different from other ones that I've used in the past. This one is Fabriano paper and normally I'm used to using Arches paper. And to me, I didn't realize it until a few uh, sketches into the sketchbook how differently the paper really reacts. And that was something I, I struggled with a lot in this sketchbook, and I, I didn't realize that it was the paper. Um, so this is a horseshoe lake. So the lake is right down here at the bottom. Mammoth Lakes is uh, about 9,000 to 10,000 feet in elevation in the mountains. So very beautiful. But this was at the uh, end of the day. All of this is in shadow, and then there's light back here on this mountain in the distance. Very chaotic scene. It was very, very challenging. And the weather was very cool, very cold, about 50 degrees. So um, yeah, just overall very challenging for watercolor. And this is a ginkgo tree, this yellow. So there's aspen trees and then there's ginkgo trees and uh, both get beautifully yellow in the uh, autumn, in the fall. So glad I was able to capture this one. <clears throat> As you can see here, it's still very, still struggling if you've seen my other sketchbook tours definitely check those out you can see how much this is a struggle for me um, but you know i did get some nice values here i was starting to get a little bit better start other understanding the paper a bit <clears throat> actually i think i just got lucky and this is the last one at mammoth lakes this is the minaret vista so this is some mountains off in the distance there's a whole long line of these mountains and this is just a small little section that i focused on and uh, just trying to capture that light effect and shadow here, very cool shadows and came out okay, I guess. Not, not my greatest work. And now I'm back in Davis, California where I live. And these are some morning glories at noon. These, it's about noon in the day, very bright. And uh, I think I captured that, that here with just how bright, you know, the, the light is shining on these uh, morning glories and how dark these shadows are. That greenery again, trying to capture those leaves and stuff, that's always a challenge, big challenge for me. But I'm happy with the coloring of the morning glories here. You know, a little, yeah, this one's a little blah, you know, a little blah here, but that one's pretty decent. And I, I like some of the vines and stuff I have going on here. So overall, I'm pretty happy with this one. I thought I was starting to redeem the sketchbook a bit with that one. And then I painted this one uh, right after that last one. And uh, I was kind of bummed out, but, so the first one I painted morning glories in light and then I decided, well, I'm gonna paint some in shadow now just to have a difference, you know, just to have, you know, that contrast. And uh, I started experimenting with seeing how opaque and how dark I could get. So a lot of these like dark shapes, I was trying to really bring out the leaf shapes here uh, for the greens and stuff. So this was mainly, once I realized the sketch was gonna be a failure, um, and actually the colors are very close to what reality was, but once I realized the sketch was kind of a failure, I wasn't really happy with it. I really started pushing and experimenting with what's it going to look like if I get really dark and really opaque, or if I start scrubbing off paper, the, the paint from the paper. And, uh, you know, just, I was really trying to figure out the paper, as I was saying, this Fabriano paper, it's, it was, you know, at least the paper that I'm using on this sketchbook, it's way different than the arches. Um, the paint doesn't come off as easily when you put it down, you know, if you want to rub it off. It's just a completely different, um, you know, process and feeling. And then this this painting is, is very interesting. So this is uh, looking down the street. I, I zoomed in a lot here and looking down the street. And what I was trying to capture is just this atmospheric perspective. And what was going on here, this is the campfire is what it was called in Northern California, this giant fire uh, that literally burnt down this town. It's probably the worst fire in American history, um, or at least Californian history, you know, devastated, you know, the, the entire town and, and killed so many people, uh, just horrific fire. 
and I was getting a lot of heavy smoke in my town from this fire. I'm about, I'm about two hours away from this wildfire and the smoke was just blowing into my town. You know, we had to wear masks and stuff going outside. It was just really terrible. Um, so I wanted to, of course, I went outside and I wanted, and painted, and I wanted to capture this uh, atmosphere. You know, what what's going on here? And just kind of have like a snapshot, like a memory of that. Rather than doing photography, I'm, I'm painting it. So uh, this one again is the same day as that last one. And this is just capturing this atmosphere back here, this smoky, cool looking atmosphere with these warm, warm light, very, it was, it was almost like an overcast day, but it was still, the sun was still able to shine through and it was this very, very warm orange light. This is like the first sketch in the whole sketchbook that I was actually happy with. And, uh, you know, it only took half the sketchbook to really get that, which is, uh, pretty crazy. And, uh, one last sketch here, I believe this is the last one for the campfire, uh, when the smoke was very, very heavy in my town. And I decided to paint a sunset, and I thought the sunset was going to get really like this blood red, and it, it never ended up doing that. Uh, or it ended up doing it for like one minute at the end, but I, I started painting it a lot before that. And I think I went a little too red here, a little too dark. I should have made it a bit more yellow, but I was trying to get this strong light effect. And I, I, just, I just love painting sunsets. They're a lot of fun, man, capturing all these subtle grays and, and reds and every sunset's so different. It's just, it's, it's an amazing uh, time of the day. So at UC Davis, they have this arboretum and one small part of it are these uh, hundred year old redwoods that they planted hundred years ago. So they're kind of small, they're not very big, but I uh, decided to capture that. And uh, you can see very chaotic here, but that's kind of my focal point here, the light on this, this tree. But uh, came out okay. I'm okay with that one. So once again, uh, I think this is from the campfire again, or another fire in Northern California around the same time. And I was just trying to, this one was just focusing on at layers of atmosphere. Um, not much going on there. Honestly, I was basically trying to just get rid of the sketchbook and fill it up because I, I just was not really into this paper. I know I'm gonna blame it on the, all on the paper, but uh, I just was not used to this paper, so. Dorm rooms at UC Davis, some dorm buildings. This I liked this red tree here, so I was trying to capture that. I think I, I made the sky too dark, and I think that really threw off the values. It almost looks like a thunderstorm, cloudy day. But there was smoke from wildfires during this time, so the light wasn't very strong. Uh, the sunlight was not very strong. It was blocked by some of the smoke, layers of atmosphere, layers of smoke in the atmosphere. So, And this is a sycamore tree in fall. Really trying to capture that orange color, brown. These The sycamore trees, they don't get as golden yellow or anything, like a ginkgo or an aspen, but they start getting orange and brown and... Uh, that's kind of what I was capturing here. You can see a bunch of leaves on the ground. And this is a, a rainy, type of rainy day. It actually started raining while I was painting this outside, so uh, I had to finish it very quickly. But uh, I love the cool greens of the atmosphere here against that warm orange. And, uh, you know, just the different greens going on here. You can see the different green in the grass. It's a lot more yellow compared to the greens of these kind of fir trees back here. A lot cooler. And that's something to that always pay attention to and I try to watch for is like, you know, the temperature. Is there more yellow? Is there more blue in the greens and stuff like that? And I try to do that with every color. You know, is this a red orange? Is it a yellow orange? You know, what kind of lean does, does each color have? And this is a ginkgo tree, small little ginkgo tree. And uh, it's actually right next to that previous sycamore tree. And I painted this one evening. I think I might have went a little too purple here on this trail. I, I don't know. I'm not I'm not a fan of, of this painting. I think a lot of the greens are pretty flat here. Yeah, not not my not my best work. And this is the last sketch. This is a ginkgo tree at the UC Davis Arboretum. And a really beautiful tree. I captured that and I was happy with how it came out and I was glad that it was the last page of the sketchbook and now I'm only using, uh, went back to the arches paper and I think that's what I'm gonna stick with. So sometimes you have to just learn and try new things and uh, this was something new that I tried, this Fabriano paper and I realized that I didn't like it. But uh, I'm happy with how the sketchbook came out overall. You know, I think it's a, a good amount of work, good, pretty decent, but um, 
you know, you win some, you lose some, and that, that's how it goes. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little sketchbook tour. Be sure to check out my other ones as well. And uh, keep on painting and drawing. Don't get discouraged. Peace.